Hello everyone, um, this is not a Matthew Matosis video, this is a temporary video. Um, in three days time, this video will go down, um, and then it will exist on the second channel permanently, uh, unless you're watching it on the second channel at the moment, in which case you know, obviously. Uh, it's just a video to give my impressions on the Guilty Gear Strive bit that just happened, and uh, avoid some of the comments in the future videos that will be inevitably, like, they're just inevitably going to be, how do you feel about Strive? How do you feel about Strive? So this is your video. Uh, this is for you. Also, a, uh, a point I forgot to mention, this video is entirely unscripted. Uh, so it's a very, very rambly, it's, it's a huge mess. This isn't like a normal video. It's, it's going. It's not going to clog up the channel. It, you're not going to see this very commonly. Don't worry about it. Uh, so yeah, it's just just in case you were curious. <laughs> it's up here because this is like the the biggest audience, and people a lot of people don't even know about the second channel. A lot of people on Twitter don't even know about the second channel. A lot of people on Twitch don't know the second channel. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's fucking get into it. So uh, I played May uh, through the majority of the beta, although I did play um, a bit of Milia, a bit of Faust, and a bit of Ram as well. Uh, I think I touched every character at least once. Um, but I only stuck with uh, characters that I was looking at that were very, very simple, that weren't Leo and Sol. Uh, I just don't really have too much interest in the characters. I started out on floor 6. Um, I got to Celestial in the last 20 minutes, uh, or last 30 minutes of the beta, I can't fucking remember. Um, this morning, basically. Um, and so, yeah, uh, just as a little precursor as to like how I did in the beta. I know that rank doesn't matter or whatever, but you know, I'm still pretty fucking happy with it. So, you know, fuck you. But uh after that and uh I want to say about I want to I want to say I played about 14 hours of the beta, I want to say. Uh but after all of that, I can give you my very decisive opinion on a beta for a game that I will eventually review um like a I'd say about a month to maybe 2 months after the release of the game. Um, the game is good, but it's not, it's not really Guilty Gear, it's not, it's not the game that I was looking for, um, and for the first day especially, I thought that was like, I, I didn't like the game, um, I was not having a good time, uh, and some of the reasons that I wasn't enjoying the game are still persistent, and I still think aren't good, but at the very least I can kind of, uh, live with. But let's go over the kind of positives first. Um, Netcode, as you might be able to expect, was fantastic. Uh, it was very, 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 very good. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it works. Obviously, it's rollback. Uh, I know how rollback works, um, but like, I'm not sure how it was working because it had like rollback frames at the top, and it's like, is that delay or is that like? Is that the amount of frames you're rolling back? Like, what the fuck is that? So, uh, yeah, Sajam saved Guilty Gear. Uh, the netcode's good, uh, for once. And going from XR to, uh, to Strive was, like, just completely night and day. And I'd also been playing Skullgirls at the time, um, and I didn't really notice if it was, like, better or worse, for me, totally honest. And not even noticing the netcode is probably a sign that it's working very fucking well. I, I guess uh, I can't really like segue from point to point. I've just kind of like got a bullet point of what I thought was good and what wasn't. Um, this might be a bit of a strange one to some people, and especially if you're a player who has, if you come from like XR or XX, and you've already got a character in the game. Um, this one might not be a positive for you, but for me, as someone that like just doesn't care about any of the characters that are really in the beta. Um, the change of the characters all being a little bit simplified at the very least makes it so that every character is more immediately playable, along with the kind of game systems that changed alongside it. Um, and that might not sound like a positive, um, but for a game that's a bit more neutral focused, I think the characters being more simple at least made it so that I was able to actively engage with more of the characters. You know, uh, when I was first picking up XR'd, um, and, well, not so much XX, because, I mean, I've played, I've played Guilty Gear for, like, years, um, but when I started picking up XR'd at the very least, uh, one of the, one of the things that troubled me for, like, the first, like, fucking hundred hours, I want to say, like, it's just so many characters that do entirely wild shit, um, that it was really hard to really figure out what every character was doing, and, I'm sure that there is going to be wild shit that eventually gets discovered. 
in uh, in Strive, the the characters at least being simplified made it so that I didn't feel that at all um to the point where i could actually play uh, quite a lot of these characters and to me that's a really good thing uh, especially as someone that doesn't really like investing a huge amount of time into a bunch of different characters i want to be able to like play one character and invest a lot of time in them and also understand all the other characters without having to actively like play them to a really really deep level um it makes it so that they're a lot easier to understand a lot easier to kind of uh, practice against just because there's not as many variables that can go on um, I, I guess the the counter argument to that is because there's less things that you can do there's less kind of depth in the characters but I don't know if that's going to be so little depth that we end up getting the full release and we go oh shit well what we got in the beta was like the rest of the game there was nothing else to really go on or um, or as time goes on, we end up having more and more, like, discoveries being made. Um, I, I, I hope it's the latter, at the very least. Uh, I don't necessarily expect it, but what we've got at the moment, at the very least, is still engaging to me. Um, I don't know how long it'll be engaging to other people, but it's at least engaging to me. Uh, kind of because of that, I would probably expect people to con kind of have, like, two or three characters in this game when they just kind of play it casually as opposed to xr and xx where you've got like three or four characters when you play it very very hardcore um so i'm hoping that it, with the simplification comes the ability to access more of them characters a bit more easily even if they kind of made a small sacrifice to make it so that them characters weren't as uh complex as they were before which i don't think is too bad personally i think that guilty gear was already like a really really complex game which is is perfectly fine and i really like that but taking it in an ever so slightly direction isn't a terrible thing it's just not super guilty geary in a sense and to kind of i guess end off not really end off at the same time get kind of end off um like round off the positives the the different roman councils being like very very distinct from each other i really liked you kind of took uh systems that in x odd were and xx to an extent not not so much xx um you took systems that were a little bit like strange and hard to understand really and shoved them all into one in a way that felt quite natural so you've got like the yellow YRC, which is like a, it's almost like a dead angle. It's not the same as a dead dead angle, but it but it's very very close to a dead angle. You've got a PRC, which is way different from RRC. Um, so I think that that's really good because in in Exard especially, I just didn't have a fucking clue what the different Roman councils were for like the longest fucking time. Like even by like hour two hundred, no fucking idea what the difference was aside from YRC compared to the rest of them. And even now, like, I still hardly fucking know the difference. Uh, they also made it so that there isn't a YRC. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like YRC, and it's definitely got problems, but not having YRC in there, for me personally, isn't super fun. But then again, I was a Venom player. I'm, like, one of the characters that benefits from YRC the most, so obviously I'm going to have a bias there, so I, I can't really blame people for being like yes no why i see fuck this fucking stupid mechanic but uh but anyway i guess we'll we'll move on to the criticisms that i have with the uh game and uh, looking at it i've actually got a lot more criticisms of the game than i actually do positives which is a little bit weird because i had a i did have a good time with the game i just i don't know i, I guess i have like a lot of things that i'm just like this just wasn't very good uh one of the big ones which still kind of frustrates me at the moment but i'm sure i say i'm sure pretty confident will change as the game kind of goes on in lifespan is there's just there was hardly any like really hard to respond to mix-ups in in xr there's a lot of situations where it's just like you've just got to commit like you've just got to commit to a like a like going down back to a high and you're not going to know until like the result kind of comes out and whilst that was very frustrating for quite a few people for me personally it was like part of the game that i enjoyed it's like getting that hard read and like really stuffing out someone's mix-up was like part of the really engaging 
was part of the really engaging bit of that game and kind of not having that combined with the the like lack of presence in oki kind of made it uh it, it makes it a bit it just makes it not the game that i'm looking for in a lot of a lot of the time a lot of the time when i'm playing x uh strive sorry uh when i'm playing strive a lot of the time i'm going fuck i wish i just had some kind of like anything just some oki i just wanted something um and I couldn't really find that outside of, like, Milia or, like, doing a Roman cancel, uh, like, setup or playing May and doing the fucking meaty dolphin. And it's like, then you've got Oki, which I think is why I uh, liked uh, May so much, because her Oki was just, like, it was just easy. <laughs> it was just really fucking easy. Um, and having that kind of was part of, or is, is part of why I really like Guilty Gear. Like, it's, the Oki game is fun um and by kind of stripping that away um and making it so that the mix-ups off of whatever oki you do get aren't very interesting it made it very not what i was looking for and what doesn't help with that is the changes that they made to the gatling system uh it just makes it so that you don't have as many like ways to kind of break someone down and i know that like a lot of the time the Gatling system doesn't inherently make it so that you're able to break people down and like mix them up heavily, but just having that extra level of freedom in what you can cancel made it so that a lot of the time, for me at the very least, I felt like there was more opportunity to like make stuff on the fly and go like, you know what, I don't know if this will work, but I'll, I'll fucking try it. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But by making it so that you can't cancel a lot of moves into other moves or you're only allowed to cancel these moves into a command normal made it quite dull for me, personally. Um, it was just something I wasn't too keen on. The Gatling system in general, I've got massive, massive critiques on. I don't know why they removed it. It's uh, They didn't remove Gatlings, they changed Gatlings. But they changed it very heavily. Before, you could go like, punch kick slash heavy slash uh or like dust and it was great because it was like if you're a new player you can just fucking just go left to right on your fight stick or like your gamepad or whatever the fuck and you've got a combo it's not like a it's not a good combo i'll give you that but you've got something and it makes it more immediately like fun whereas the new gatling system for beginners makes it so that you kind of have less options which m kind of makes it a little bit harder to really get a grasp on the game because it's not so much as uh there's not as many how do i phrase this there's not as many positions you can like put someone in kind of so w when you're like looking at like uh, let's like look at a puzzle uh the more ways that there are to solve a problem um the more engaging that problem becomes and the more like depth there is to that issue obviously if it's like a if it's a one-way puzzle it's not very fun if you like if you just push the button and you win um but by having more options available to you even if they're not correct choices makes it more engaging especially for me personally um and especially as a new player i valued that quite a lot it's why i gravitated toward guilty gear as opposed to gravitating towards street fighter i didn't like street fighter for the longest time because i felt like i was constantly being told no you're not allowed to do that in guilty gear you were always told yes you're allowed to do that because of the git because of the gatling system but it never was like you're allowed to do that and you're gonna get rewarded for it it was just you're allowed to do that you're a fucking idiot like <laughs> It wasn't, uh, it, it, like, it didn't have as many reins on the player, and so it felt, like, quite good to play, even if you were making the wrong decisions, whereas now I feel like it's, uh, it, it kind of adds a bit more of the kind of restrictiveness to a player, um, which I don't value at all, personally. Uh, it, it can still make for an interesting game, obviously, but I don't value that, personally. Also, uh, the, the damage at the moment is just so fucking high. It's so high. And it, the part that worries me about that is 
if we are like looking forward into the future and the damage numbers are this high at the moment when arxis comes to balance the game are they going to bring the really high numbers down or are they going to push the really no uh, the really low numbers high and to me it's like if the damage numbers get too high the game stops being fun and right now we're right on the brink of that like i understand that it's a more neutral focused game but when you get hit by just uh let's say you get hit by like a normal o opener into a yrc uh, an rrc combo the amount of damage you can get like dealt to you is really high and then you get wall broken at the end and it's just like what the fuck just happened to my life bar it just crumbled and, and i know that it's a, no a more like neutral focus game and so that situation doesn't happen like constantly like it would in exard which is a more like okizemi focus game but as people get better and as that opportunity becomes more frequent because people are getting better i feel like this game is going to get very blow up heavy very quick um and i don't think i like that i would i would like if the damage numbers were either scaled down or the gut system was scaled up because i don't fucking notice guts at all in this game i i genuinely couldn't tell you if guts was a thing because i wasn't i didn't uh, take the opportunity to go into training mode and actually test how guts worked um i i assume that it's still there but i didn't notice it on the large majority of characters it was just ridiculous some of the damage numbers that were coming out there was like a there's like a clip on my twitch where i got like 40 percent reversal against a wall and it was a wake up reversal it's like, fucking stupid uh, I, th I think the wake-up reversals at the moment for, like, supers, especially, are a little bit too strong. Um, maybe that's, like, not really a thing. But for me, any time I got, like, wake-up reversaled with uh, something that used meter, I felt like I just took too much damage. I felt like I got absolutely cheated out of the situation. Not, not cheated out of the situation, but, like, I felt like I got an unfair amount of reward or uh like an unfair slap on the wrist for the decision that i made there was a lot of matches that i played where i was just like fuck it i'm gonna panic reversal like super reversal because i have two i have like 100 bar or whatever or like i'm very close to 100 bar and i would either win the round or be like one hit away from winning which i do not even slightly think is a good thing. I think that the damage numbers on that stuff's way too fucking high at the moment. Uh, and I think that if there was anything that I was going to be like... Anything that I was going to change that I don't think is a very complicated task to solve, it would be the damage numbers. Damage numbers, it's just really fucking high. Um that would be like the one thing that i'd want to see changed before release especially because it's just like some of the, some of this shit's fucking absurd and i'm not talking about like potemkin against chip i'm talking about just like soul versus soul it's just like the damage numbers are just out of this fucking world it's too it's too much and i guess uh on on the opposite end of that if the damage numbers are too high the movement is too low and like movement being too low doesn't make any sense but like it, it feels like I don't have enough mobility in this game. And I I don't just tie that down to the air dash. I think the, the air dash is horrid. I hate the air dash in this game. I don't like it at all. Um, I don't think that it adds any positive qualities. I think that it's absolutely atrocious. It's horrible for game feel. It's the worst. I hate the air dash in this game um the only way that i can like describe it is imagine if it took like half a second to jump that's the way that it feels to me it's atrocious also like when you do an air dash you come to an almost immediate stop it's i hate it i hate it so much um and i i that i am not moving on that one that one is fucking ridiculous i on all of the other stuff in strive i can like i can see the argument as to why it's like built like that like even the fucking damage numbers being like really fucking high i can understand why it's like that it's a neutral focus game so you might kind of want some higher damage numbers to make it so that if you win neutral by like a really strong advantage 
then you get rewarded for that that makes sense the air dash is terrible it's garbage i don't i don't like it at all it feels horrid to use i it's so bad and it's not even just that like doing like a run jump in this game just doesn't feel good you retain none of that like inertia that you have from your like run but from before i don't know why i'm clicking um <laughs> you you can like you gain none of that inertia and so i think inertia is the right word i'm not sure velocity i don't fucking know um and so it's like you run you jump and you basically go nowhere and it's it just doesn't feel good at all to do that kind of thing the the best way that i could like kind of like show you is literally just do a side uh, a side by side comparison which thankfully i recorded the footage for before uh the beta went down but like just look at milia just look at milia and the way that she does two air dashes in strive compared to how she does it in exard the one in exard feels better it's more fun to play with it's more dynamic it's so much better this one's dog shit it's fucking awful i'm not moving on that one the air dash in this game sucks and the movement is not fun i'm i'm not moving on that one um i'm sorry if you like the movement i'm not moving on it i want to see it, i want to see it changed i very highly doubt that we will see it changed but i want to see it changed it's, it's terrible and uh i guess to kind of round out my my very initial thoughts uh negative wise the the lobby i i'm sure you've heard like literally everyone who's played this game complain about the lobby but there's a fucking reason why we complain about this lobby it's fucking awful it's terrible and it, it isn't inherently bad it can be like tweaked to be fixed um but right now it's just hot dog shit it's fucking awful the main thing that i think is a problem at the moment is the amount of time it takes even like even with like instant rematching even instant rematches sorry the lobby would still be really bad because it just takes so long to initialize a match it can take upwards of like if i if somebody but let's start from the beginning actually okay so you enter a room and you you walk around and people have these swords out and that shows that they want to fight um and so they're they're like posting like an invitation to a room effectively you walk up to them and then it's like the game doesn't really do a good job at communicating to you that you are connecting to them it's this tiny little notification off on the bottom left there's no audio there's no like change in visuals you can't move your character around you also can't cancel the request to join their room whilst you're doing that and that can take between five seconds and up to a minute that is too long to accept a match that is ridiculous that's way too fucking long not only that but there's no rematch so and i'm sure i'm i'm 100 percent sure i i mean a thousand percent sure that that was held back specifically for this release of the game just to make it so that you got like more connections coming in they can kind of run through all that data more but holy shit if that isn't in the game on the full release i'm gonna fucking kill someone oh my god <laughs> it's so uh, sitting there for like two minutes because you can't find a game just to struggle to even get into a match was the most frustrating part of the beta by a significant margin i think i spent more time in the lobby walking around looking for a game because it kept failing to connect me to people than actually playing the game and that's not on the days where it was like the the beta went down and it was like seven hour blackouts i mean like the days when it was good i was still having this problem it's fucking awful and i really don't ever want to use it again um if i knew how the quick search worked and i could quick search without being in training mode i would the only reason that i didn't like being in training mode whilst uh i was searching is because it sh it like shoots you out into a loading screen every single time you're every time you're in quick search it will shoot you out to a loading screen um and also uh 
<laughs> my PS4 was going to explode. It was just getting so hot whenever there was like the actual in-game graphics being rendered. I was like, fucking hell, it's going to explode. Uh, actually, I didn't test in the beta if you could quick search without being thrown into a training mode. And so maybe that's my fault. But if I had known, I would have chosen to play through uh, quick search the whole time instead of going through the absolute dog shit lobby. It's fucking garbage. Also, uh, the lobby, it, it can only connect, like, one person to one person at a time, but there's 24 people in that lobby at once, and so it's really, it, it's really laggy as well, and so you can have, like, four people show up to one person at once, and that one person is saying, I, I'm accepting people into my room, or a person into my room, four people all show up, and, like they're all connecting but you can't see it because the lobby is so laggy that it's not showing you that they're connecting to them and so you walk up you go to accept their game and then 10 seconds later it boots you out again and you're just kind of there like what the fuck just happened and then just five people randomly show the fuck up and it's just it's just so bad it's so terrible also uh you can teleport to someone which is good however I would prefer if instead of being able to teleport to someone inside of this like menu, I could just accept their game from that menu. I don't want to teleport to them most of the time. I'd still like that to be an option, but most of the time I would just want to accept the game. I wouldn't want to have to teleport and then go and accept their game. Also, you can like, if somebody is just standing there and they look like they're about to like, accept a game or they just decline the room as you go to like press a to accept their invite and you're like mashing a because you're just like i just want to get into the game you'll download their r code and that took so fucking long i don't know what the hell is going on with like the downloading r code system it took fucking forever it was ridiculous um so i hope that that gets changed like very significantly i don't even know where i would go with the lobby system i would probably scrap it entirely first um or make it so that that like wait time and all the response times are just brought down by a fucking bajillion because right now it takes so long for anything to happen also you can get caught uh when, when you exit a match your your two little men will be like swinging at each other and one of you will like hold your little fucking sword up in victory you can get stuck inside of that section for like upwards of 30 seconds you can finish a match and it takes you it takes so long i don't know what it's doing it's either disconnecting you from like a from what well, it's peer-to-peer -peer, so it doesn't make any sense it's disconnecting you from something but it takes so long it's it's so tedious i swear to fucking god it's the lobby's really bad the lobby is really really bad and if it's like this on release i am i don't know how much of the game i'm going to play purely because of how bad bad the lobby is and i don't want that to be the case but it's terrible it's absolutely garbage um is it worse than the air dashing no because the air dashing is like part of the actual game itself but the user experience inside of the lobbies is atrocious if that doesn't get changed by release it is going to be a shit show of a game and i think that it would severely hurt the chances of guilty gear doing well in the long run by damaging the initial impression of thousands of players um so i really hope that they work on that lobby because it's fucking terrible also i would like frame data in training mode uh i know that that's not a big ask and i don't know if it wasn't included specifically because this is a beta where all of that frame data might change but i really really fucking hope that that is in the game and if it's like frame data but it's actually your character just glows blue or red and doesn't actually show you a hard set number i'm gonna be so pissed um i think that frame data is so important to a training mode because even though like only like 10 percent are going to kind of really fully understand that information to that 10 percent 
it is so fucking useful to just be able to view it in the game itself especially if you're like testing meaties and shit like that where you might get more frame advantage or less frame advantage and you want to see how well how like good your timing is it's so 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 important i i really hope that that's in the full release uh, if it's in the beta i couldn't find the setting for it and i'd like it to be a little bit clearer but at the same time that if that if it's in the beta then i'm just a fucking idiot you know and i think that for the amount of like time that i've put into it uh those are like all i've re that's all the like really solid thoughts that i've got on it um even like the the wishy-washy thoughts that i've got on it like uh the kind of meter management might become more uh, apparent later like one of the one of the problems that i had in the beta was the meter management just wasn't very fun because there's no 25 percent option um it feels like you either have a choice or you have faultless defense you know like it it's not very interesting right up until that um right up until that 50 percent option um and the meter management in xard and uh, XX, sorry, I forgot. I don't know how I forgot the fucking title, was part of what I enjoyed about the game, but I didn't necessarily have to understand that meter management right away, um, and so that might be something that comes along later in time, maybe the meter management is still quite engaging, but I don't think it is, just by how many options are tied to 50%, and how there isn't any options prior to that point that aren't faultless defense, which I would hopefully like to see changed maybe in like a future iteration of strive that isn't strive at the moment um but yeah i i feel like the game is good uh it just doesn't have like as much identity as xard and there are certain things about it that i really really strongly dislike it, it, the the thing that worries me the most out of all of this though is like I went into the game really wanting to like it, and I feel like a lot of us went into the game going, I want to like the new Guilty Gear, which to me isn't necessarily a good thing, just because we're going to have like rose-tinted glasses right now because it's a new fighting game with good netcode in 2021. We haven't had a good fighting game in fucking four ever in fact we haven't had a, a fighting game in for the fuck ever and so i feel like a lot of us are just gonna kind of like excuse and brush over the points that we're like ah it's fine it's it's fine who, who really cares but then as we play it more and more and more and we start going to like the hundreds of hours kind of mark some of us are gonna go wow this is fucking awful i don't like this system this is really frustrating and that's gonna kind of like just start to accumulate and just keep going and going and going um it's also why I'm like, I'm going to wait for a while until I review the game because it's like, I'm going to have a bias towards liking it for the first month, I would imagine, um, which is why I kind of want to, or like at least the first like couple of weeks, I'm going to have like a bias to be like, oh, I, I want to like this game. I want this game to be good. Uh, whereas whether or not it's actually good or not, I feel like it's going to get revealed more in time as opposed to what we've got right now. But yeah, uh, I guess that's just like my, my quick thoughts. It's game's good it's not guilty gear um netcode very good lobby very bad don't like the air dashes i guess that's like the main points that if you want to like take anything away from this uh then yeah uh if you made it all the way through jesus christ uh thanks for watching uh i it'll be on the second channel if you want to rewatch it again in a couple of days time <laughs> uh yeah uh thanks for watching i'll i'll see you around in like a couple of weeks time i'm trying to aim for like a video every three weeks but yeah okay bye 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 bye, bye.